My name is Jeremy Levin. I'm the former CEO of Teva. My family fled Southern Africa and the evil of apartheid and regimes that upended democracy. I came to Israel in 1967. I love Israel. I love its people, its history, and its contributions to the world. I've always stood with that nation, and now I stand and fight with them again. 75 years ago, and again 50 years ago, the enemies of Israel attacked, but Israel defeated them. Israel sent a message to the world that its people will always, always fight for freedom and democracy. Now Israel again faces an existential battle within its borders as Netanyahu wages war against democracy. Oh. He also wages war against the values we hold dear in America and Israel. Netanyahu's attempts to end the separation of powers between the courts and the Knesset to upend democracy have done more harm to Israel than any previous enemy. He has put Israel's existence at risk. Israelis left and right, religious and secular, women and men are fighting Netanyahu and his henchmen as they attempt to impose, and make no mistake, I use this word deliberately, a dictatorship on the nation. The chaos we see unfolding in Israel is not about Netanyahu's ideology, he has none. Not about his beliefs, he has none. Not even about his economic gain, he's taking a lot of money from some people. It's simple, he wants to avoid prosecution. Prosecution for the lies The lies he's told the Israeli public, military and security leadership, lies documented in multiple affidavits. If he lies to the um, Israeli population and leadership, America, what is he prepared to do to us? More importantly, if Netanyahu is willing to put Israel at risk, why would he hesitate to do the same with America? In every speech or interview he gives, in every action he takes, in every meeting he convenes here in the US, Netanyahu tries to trick. He tries to sucker punch the American public and our leaders. Busha, Busha, Busha. America's long partnership with Israel is built on common values and a dialogue of mutual trust, not on the lies and deceit that Netanyahu offers. America cannot believe or rely on a word he says, particularly now today when our leaders endeavor to build important agreements to help promote and enhance democracy in the Middle East and around the globe. Israel 
is the genuine, trusted and true partner of America and democracy. Netanyahu is not. America stands with the people of Israel and its fight for democracy. When we fight for democracy, we fight for the ideals that founded both Israel and America. The people of Israel will win now, just as they did in the existential wars of 1948 and 49, 40 and 73. I am proud, proud to be fighting with them and proud to be standing here with those who are leading the fight. Hmm.